the whole Eurozone system, I think, would blow up very, very quickly. What then is the alternative? Because the way it looks right now, no politician in Greece is going to be able to get into power if they're saying that they will proceed with the austerity measures. They will continue to, to cut spending. I mean, I, 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 well, I, mean, I don't see that the, the position is completely you know, impossible. I don't see how they can... Um, form a, a government of any kind. I think it's a, it's, it's a completely extraordinary situation. And, and re, you know, refusing to accept the memorandum means automatically, uh, essentially, the, 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 the plug is going to be pulled on them by the EU and the IMF. I don't see you can meet these, these, these terms. I mean, an end to austerity, an end to cuts, you can't meet those terms. The, the EU is simply going to walk out on them. And they don't, seem to, they don't seem to fully accept this. They seem to think they can kind of have it both ways. Um, maybe I'm misunder, mis, uh, you know, underestimating them, but I, and I spoke to Sir of people when I was in Athens a, a month ago or so, and they still seem to think they could have it both ways. Well, they can't. I mean, if they don't accept the memorandum, and I completely understand and appreciate why they don't, wouldn't want to do so, that means the drachma. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, Thrasy, if I can come back to you. Uh, in your view, are Greeks more worried about leaving the euro and whatever that might entail, or are they more worried about more austerity, more cuts, more hardship? Well, this is the extraordinary thing about the situation as it is today, because you know, at the time that the, the second bailout was being negotiated, the opinion polls uh, were taken as to what people actually wanted. Uh, we obviously didn't have the, the famous referendum that, that led to George Papandreou uh, stepping down. But when these opinion polls were taken, 70% uh, of the population said that they wanted the euro, they wanted to be part of the eurozone, and they wanted to be part of the EU. And that's just not reflected in, in, a, in a vote where um, over 50 percent have uh, said that they are supporting anti-memorandum um, parties. Look, the, the one thing I would say is that we've been taken to the brink so many times in this debt crisis going right back to May 2009 when it all um, escalated here uh, and at each and every time uh, somehow um, we, we seem to have been taken right to the brink and then take a step back. There is a slight get out clause in this where if we have another round of elections um, you know they, they weren't very far away, PASOK and New Democracy, from getting a majority. And, and probably what I think a lot of people expected was that one of the left parties would have gone with them, Democratic left perhaps. They, they haven't gone with them there. Uh, it's not impossible that that will happen a second time because what's being proposed now simply does not add up. And, and it is true that if, uh, if, if what uh, Mr. Tsipras is uh, proposing uh, come, comes off, we, we were told in non-certain terms that Germany just won't accept that. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big if, though, isn't it, Craig de Peters? Uh, if if Greek voters will change their minds if they're given another chance in the election. Well, I, 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 I agree that it, it's going to be June 17th. We're going to see another round of elections. And I don't, I don't see much, much difference here. I, ju I just think you look at that pie chart of the number of parties, it's, it's, it's chaos and confusion. Uh, what, what needs to be done in Greece is a leader needs to be found. And so far, no leader has emerged from this rubble. And, and for my way of thinking, that's, that's the most concerning thing here. You still see a lot of leadership within the Greek business community there, many, many of the CEOs of the big, the shipping companies, et cetera, et cetera. You see leadership within the young people within, for instance, the Greek Foreign Service who have ideas are still being shut out. You, you actually see leadership, ability for, for hope in Greece, places like the Stav, Stavros Narakos Foundation, which uh, is a foundation in Greece that a lot of people laugh at because they think, well, Narakos was a rich man. But the people who run this foundation and other foundations and other institutions there have not been included in this, in this process of recreating a new a new Greek state to get the country out of this mess. And and that when the autopsy is done on the failure of Greece, I think is going is going to be a a real, real point that people are going to look at seriously. They're out of ideas. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to Washington now. Tyson Barker's there at the Bertelsmann Foundation North America. Uh, some some pretty stark choices facing the Greeks at the moment. No, that's that's completely the case. I mean, to be just to give you a sense of how things are here in Washington, uh, on Super Sunday, the election day in Europe, the discussion wasn't really about the French elections as much as it was about the Greek elections. And I just came from Capitol Hill, where 
uh, the prognosis of, of the Greek situation has changed dramatically in the past week. A week ago, people were really thinking that the possibility that Greece would leave the Eurozone was about 20 percent. Now it's really more like 50-50. <laughs> um, and, and one thing that we're not even talking about really is, is the fact that the EU as, a, as an organization doesn't really have a mechanism for a, a country to leave the Eurozone. It has a mechanism for the, a country to leave the EU. And there are all sorts of implications that would come from that. You'd have to uh, leave Schengen. There would have to be capital controls introduced. A whole number of things. Here in Washington, we're thinking about its, its wider implications across the Eurozone, but also its strategic implications for the region. I mean, Greece is really a pivot point between the Balkans, between Turkey, between the Arab Spring. Uh, this could be a really destabilizing factor in the entire region. Now, Ambrose, in London, as, as Tyson points out, this is unprecedented. There is uh, no kind of how-to-do list to, to let a country leave the Eurozone. Uh, do you think they would have to leave the Eurozone and the EU as well? The EU is a very flexible organisation, and when they when they ran into difficulties, whether it was over the Irish nose to Nice or whatever whatever it was, the Danish nose to Maastricht, they found a way around it. The you know the very clever lawyers will come up with a formula. So I would think it's possible to leave the uh, uh, leave leave the euro and stay in the EU. I don't you know the question is whether um, some of the powers that be in Europe might want to push Greece out to, to feel they behave badly and to make an example of them. That, I mean, you know, so it would, it would be a political decision. I think legally, legally and constitutionally, they can basically do whatever they want in this case. Um, and I, I just want to add a, a point here that, you know, I, the, 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 the Greece is not a special case in my view. It, it's the first of a series of countries that got into trouble, but the same dynamic is basically at play in a number of others. It's debt deflation. It's essentially a 1930s gold standard structure where all, all the burden of adjustment is on the weaker countries and they're all being ground into this death spiral and so what we're seeing in Greece will be followed in Portugal and will be followed in, Sp in Spain until the policy mix that is that is monetary and fiscal contraction combined is changed it's as simple as that are you and, saying you know, the euro should be scrapped altogether no I'm not saying that I'm saying if you want to keep it and make it work you need to change the policy mix the policy mix has been contractionary it was imposed by uh, well let's I don't want to be anti-German about it but it's basically coming from Germany uh, and it, it, it was okay for German needs because they're a different stage of the economic cycle but it was completely disastrous for countries with high debt levels already in recession and so you know this is an inevitable result of the policies that have been pursued and can be changed and, and would that mean renegotiating the, the terms of repayment for Greece? I mean, already 100 billion euros has been written off. Is that something that, that Brussels should be looking at again? Well, I mean, specifically, if you, specifically, if you change the whole policy setting in Europe for all these countries and give them oxygen and a way out, then, then the Greek issue becomes a detail and maybe you could find some formula and you could negotiate. You know, I think the IMF actually is more open. They, they recognize that this policy is, 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 is flawed. It's essentially a failure. They've been pleading behind closed doors with the EU to change it, haven't had much luck. Um, you know, so I, I think you could work something out, but I mean, that's not, you know, changing slightly the terms for Greece, unless the whole policy mix for, for Europe has changed, isn't going to make any difference. All right. Let's hold that thought. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll have the international headlines for you and the second part of tonight's debate. Don't go away. France 1 Cat presents. It is running out of money and there are concerns all over the Eurozone about the implications of what it will mean if Greece defaults on its debts, as many are calling for it to do in Greece tonight. And a reminder of who's with us, Craig Capetus, a Paris-based journalist and an expert on Greece and many other things as well. Uh, in Athens tonight, Thrasy Petropoulos, chief editor of Athens News, Tyson Barker's at the Bertelsmann Foundation in Washington and Ambrose Evans-Pritchard, uh, is at the Telegraph. Um, Thrasy, if I could go back to you, um, just before the break, Ambrose Evans Pritchard was talking about the need uh, to, to reassess the policy towards Greece. I mean, is there any room at all, do you think, for the Greeks to renegotiate uh, the payment plan of this debt? No, I, I don't think there is. Um, everything that we've been told, uh, uh, not just uh, coming out of Europe and, and Germany in particular, but also within Greece for, for this whole process, whether it be Papandreou, uh, whether it be uh, the uh, technocrat Prime Minister Lucas Papadimos, or the current uh, uh, leaders of the two main parties, um, everything that we've been told is 
take this memorandum or you might as well forget the euro. So I don't think there's the one the one area that perhaps has changed things is Francois Hollande's uh, uh, victory in France and the belief that there'll be some lessening of, of, of uh, austerity going forward. But look, we've got 11 billion euros worth of austerity to, to uh, implement uh, in June alone. Um, and about the only thing that I can see changing is uh, perhaps you know, wage cuts, uh, which are seen as a, a deflationary measure, uh, just about the only deflationary measure that we can have in the Eurozone. Uh, perhaps they won't be as severe as they would have been, but otherwise, no. Um, interesting view this afternoon from Fitch, the ratings agency. Um, its chief executive, Paul Taylor, uh, told Spiegel online that Germany has a fundamental interest in preserving the common currency. Um, Ambrose, we'll come back to you. Are the Germans the ones being too hard uh, on Greece? You were saying before the break you didn't want to blame it all on the Germans, but there are a lot of voices saying that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, well, yeah, I mean, Angela Merkel may hold this view that she will um, do any, do anything, everything it takes to sort of hold the euro together. But Wolfgang Schäuble, the finance minister, sort of said other things, and he suggested uh, on on a number of occasions that maybe Greece should leave. Um, I, I don't know. You, you've got Cyprus, you know, um, saying that that they have a secret weapon, which is or, or, or you know an ultimate weapon, which is to sort of threaten to bring down the whole European House of Cards. Uh, and I, I don't think that's going to work with Schäuble at all. I think his reaction to this would simply to say, "Well, go ahead, make my day." Um, and, and then you have a very dangerous dynamic where you know we see what happens. If, if, you know, if, 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 if Germany went that in that direction. Uh, and it would take some quite active intervention to stop it going in that direction, then, then, I'd, then, then we, we would just see what the chain reaction would be from there. Tyson Barker, what are your views on that? Um, well, I, first of all, I find it very interesting that Ambrose would say that the EU is, is remarkably flexible. I mean, if anything has characterized this crisis, it's its lack of flexibility and the need to compromise over long negotiation periods. Um, I think that the Germans do have a vested stake in, in Greece remaining in the euro simply because once you've pulled that thread, that contagion is going to, to leap from country to country and really spook the markets and unleash forces that you can't really control. I think people in the chancellery, and particularly Mr. Schäuble, who is a pro-European, realize this. But uh, regarding a renegotiation of the bailout deal for Greece, I think that that's probably not in the cards. And I just wanted to bring in, there has been a, a particularly nasty side effect, if you can call it that, from this uh, inconclusive election in Greece. The Golden Dawn Party, they're a far-right neo-Nazi party, uh, they've won some seats in Parliament for the first time. Uh, they say they now have a stronger mandate to carry out, carry out some of their, uh, to be frank, troubling ideals. Let's take a listen to their leader earlier. What will be the first measure to change? All the immigra illegal immigration out, out of my country, out of my home. 